Hey there and welcome back. I'm Kristen Galloway, a licensed occupational therapist and certified dementia care specialist. And today I'd like to talk about sensory activities for individuals with dementia and how they can support um, that person to feel calm and relaxed and be able to engage in activities throughout the day without um, experiencing um, dementia related behaviors or adverse behaviors. So let's talk about the sensory systems. So we all understand and know that um, there are five basic senses. So sight, smell, hearing, taste, and touch. So we know with normal aging that all of our senses are affected um, somewhat with normal aging. Some of our um, ability to hear as sharply typically diminishes for most people with age. Um, our, our vision typically starts to decline um, for some people marginally and for other people's, people a lot more. Um, but we typically have some changes with aging. Same thing with, with touch, right? So um, sometimes um, we don't feel light touch quite as much or sense it as much as we did earlier in our lives. Um, most of these changes for most people are either not very perceptible, not very noticeable, um, or at least they don't affect our ability to live our daily lives. Um, or in, with the case of hearing and vision, they can be corrected to a level um, that still allows us to function. However, it's really important for us to have that sensory input um, to be able to experience the world and to be able to help organize and calm our nervous system. These sensory experiences um, affect our brain and the rest of our nervous system and allow us to feel calm and peaceful and safe and secure. And so one of the things that I love to do um, for individuals with dementia is to introduce sensory experiences because a lot of times um, they may be a little bit more isolated, maybe not have as much interaction with the world around them. Um, and so it's really fun to introduce um, sensory experiences. So this can be as simple as um, smelling flowers, right? So we're engaging our sense of smell, smelling pretty flowers, smelling cookies baking, um, maybe even using um, some kind of um, aromatherapy or a diffuser to put a nice um, floral scent or, or lavender scent into the air or a calming, calming scent. Um, this can be as simple as applying hand lotion. So um, any kind of deep pressure or um, sensation across the skin. So the sensation of rubbing that into the skin is wonderful, right? Um, gentle massage. If you have a caregiver that can do that for the person, gentle massage is a great form of, of touch. Um, but I love the one of putting on lotion because they get the sensation of the coolness and the um, smoothness of the lotion and then also the deep pressure of being able to rub it in. Um, another great one is to allow them to help you make bread dough so they can knead the dough or you can use Play-Doh as a substitute. Um, if you have some on hand, this is non-toxic, which is great, brightly colored, which is nice too, but just being able to squeeze and manipulate um, dough or Play-Doh in your hands is a nice um, way to increase that proprioception or that deep input, that pressure input, which is a great way to wake up the senses. Um, some other great ways you can participate in sensory activities with someone with dementia are singing or listening to music, um, singing along, humming along, um, whistling. Those are great ways to participate with that. Um, so there are all kinds of ways that we can incorporate um, sensory um, kind of therapeutics into the daily life of someone with dementia. So this will help them, again, to organize the nervous system, to feel calm and relaxed, um, and to be able to really pay attention to and process things from the world around them. So I encourage you to check some of these things out. Let me know if you have some others that are favorites that you've already tried. I'd love to hear your comments. Um, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.